Hey there! In this video, we are going to be looking at drawing vector representations on a squared paper. Now to find out how to do this, stay tuned. Welcome to Rise Up Namibia. My name is Met Yanata aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, what do you do when you are given a column vector and you are asked to give the vector representation on a squared paper, for example, like this one. The first thing you want to do is you want to find the starting point. Okay? So you can start wherever you want. So let me choose a starting point. So I'm going to start here. Now after you choose your starting point, you want to focus first on the x-axis. Okay? Now what are you given for the x-axis? You are given a positive 4. Does this mean you will be moving to the right or to the left? Now, since it's a positive 4, let's quickly check at this diagram here on top. From the point of origin, which side are the positive numbers? They are on the right. So, which means, since it's a positive 4, you will move to the right-hand side. Okay? So, from our origin here, we'll be moving 4 lines to the right. Okay? So, let's do just that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now, from here, which is the fourth line, now you want to focus on the y-axis. Okay? Since you are done with the x-axis, now let's check on the y-axis. What, what figure are you given for the y-axis? You are given negative 3. Now, from the point of origin, since it's a negative 3, are you going to move up? Or are you going to move down? If you move up, it's only for positive numbers. So, since it's a negative 3, you will need to move down. Okay? So, let's go where we stopped. We stopped here. So, from here, we'll be going 3 lines down. So, let's count. 1, 2, 3. Good. Now, from here, you go back to where you started. And you draw a line towards where you ended. Okay? You label your vector as A, B, just like it's written here. It's A, B. And then, since it's starting from A to B, you bring in your direction arrow from A to B. Okay? So, we can remove these dots since they are just there for explanatory purposes. And just like that, you are done with this question. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to try out this 3 before I give you the correct answer. Okay? Okay. So, let's start with EF. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to choose a starting point, which can be anywhere. Okay, let's start here. Uh, no, on second thought, let me move it on top here. Good. Now, if this is our starting point for EF, we want to start on the x-axis, which is the horizontal line. What are we given for the x-axis? We are given a negative 3. So, if we are given a negative 3, from our starting point, will we move to the right or will we move to the left? Since it's negative, we will move to the left. Okay, so how many times will we move to the left? Three times. So let's count. One, two, three. Okay. Now from here, we focus on the y-axis. Now check, what are we given for the y-axis? We are given a negative five. So we'll move five lines downwards. Why downwards? Because we are given a negative five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. From there, we draw our line from our starting point to our end point. Then we label our vector and the direction. And just like that, we are done with EF. How about this A? Let's choose a starting point. And then we focus first on the x-axis, which means the horizontal line. So, for the x-axis, we are given a negative 5, which means from this starting point of ours, we'll move 
five lines to the left. So one, two, three, four, five. And then for the y-axis, we are given a positive four, which means we will be moving four lines up because the four is positive. So four lines up because the four is positive, we go one, two, three, four. Okay, and then from there we draw our line from our start point to our end point and label our vector. And just like that, you are done with the A as well. How about the GH? Choose a starting point again. And then you check for the x-axis, what figure are you given? You are given a 0, so which means you won't move on the x-axis because you are given a 0. What about on the y-axis? You are given a negative 4, meaning you will need to go four lines downwards. Why downwards? Because it's negative four. So we go one, two, three, four. And from there we draw our line from our starting point to our end point and label our vector. And just like that, we are done with the third one as well, which is GH. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, Turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights. Apart, we all stay behind. Cheers.